What's up everybody? Tony here from Godworks and today we have the slow riders. Alright, so I'll show you guys just on this video. If you guys want me to show make a video of how I did it step by step, just uh comment below please. And then I'll encourage me to actually do this because I really would love to share these things but it's kinda like a lot of little steps that I have to record for you guys so you guys can see what I'm doing and it's a lot of little things so and it gets discouraging but I do want to really share with you guys so you guys can try this and do it on your own course if you want so yes, I'm gonna just show you on this video how this car is how it works and I'll show you the mechanics on a different car that I'm working on with the same thing a different car and I'll show you guys I make these up I don't I haven't found anybody that has made any of these this is the way my cars are hopping right now um, I used to do the cross one it goes down like that but I wanted to put the engine on so a lot of pondering and came up with this and um, It works good as you can see it just hopped at the same idea see the little hook and it's and it's um, wired up the same way as you wire up uh, a arm setup so you run the strings to the top and then And the motor pulls once I have it hooked up because this was not hooked up yet but you see it like it pulls them so that makes pretty much what makes it hot so, let me get that and go down And these are just paper clips and I'll show you guys in detail if you guys want this video like I said and just right now it's kind of like a here I'm gonna show you this what I got right now so you guys have an idea okay. so what I did is make three holes one here in the end you see and this I had them um, make and glue on here just so I can because um, I needed three holes I need one for this side and one where the string is right here in the middle in the center you see the string and then this one this one's the one that holds it from it goes to the back right here like that and this actually helps um, the whole structure of the thing not break or anything it kind of helps it like like a stopper kind of thing but boom you cut it smaller I put it to cut it there but that's how I have it for right now and that's how it is that's how simple this this is that's why I'm like I like this to the rear end And it's the same thing as this, no different. And you got your servo. This one is a smaller servo than the one that's in here, because I was using nine gram servos, and this is a well, like 3.7, I think, which is really good because it's smaller and doesn't take so much space. And then, especially on old mobiles, they have a small trunk space. And even these ones have a small trunk space, but with these servos, they'll fit much better on these ones. But um, if you put too much weight on the back, um, when you hit 
like a side to side the actual weight will make the car drop because it's so heavy in the back so i don't have so much weight in the back i only have one and then that's it because the motor is pretty big so it has one weight too much to one side so i have to put weight on the other side so it can be more stable and they work really good so and this is how i hook this car up like this every car varies like i said the motor on this one is like tiny compared to this thing and then this is how it's set up So that's how that works. I'm so it is. And this I got from an old uh, RC toy. Um, if you guys want me to show you guys how to do all like step by step, just comment below and let me know. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, everyone, there's that. And here's this guy again. Put a switch on there. Boom. Oh. Alright guys. You guys like this little video showing you how these things work. Y'all have a good day.